one of the first websites, this is not for podcasts, really quickly, is interesting things for ESL students at manythings.org. Sorry, I have to talk a little bit faster now. Um, specifically, this website is good for students who are going to travel to another country for listening and also for visual recognition of things like signs, which is what we're going to go to. <coughs> Reading signs in English. So I have a 14-year-old student at Soga School, or had. He went to Santa Barbara for three months by himself, of course with the host family, but without his family, without any Japanese people. And there's not that many Japanese people in Santa Barbara, California. So he needed to learn how to read signs. He asked me specifically, like, how do I read a map? in America. How do I read street signs? What do I need to look out for? What are some of the signs that I need to pay attention to? So I directed him to this website because there's a lot of stuff. He's not driving, so it won't be too bad. But, so you have an alphabetical list of all the signs here, but you also have signs by category. Shopping, travel, driving, everyday signs. Here are some of the signs. Now this is one of the databases. When you click on it, they get really big. I've chosen one that I particularly like, although it's not very useful. This hill closed to public access due to the tornado damage. <laughs> so if you have any students going to Kansas, maybe you can do this and they can watch the Wizard of Oz and they'll be prepared for tornadoes. <laughs> okay, I probably wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> At least they can learn to appreciate Judy Carmel. <laughs> Again, we have minimal Paris practices and quiz here. Do you know what a minimal Paris is? Anyone? Okay, we're going to find out in a second. Again, I'm going a little bit faster than I planned to. Minimal pairs are things that sound very similar in English that especially EFL students have a problem trying to distinguish. 14, 40. So it's going to, uh, the computer is going to say it once. Please shout out the answer, okay? Oh, that's weird. It didn't say anything. Okay, can we turn up the volume on the CD part? Sure. There were, oh, okay. there were many cars on Route 14. 14. 14. Very good. Okay, so you can just circle 14. So this website has hundreds of exercises. There's no end to this. You can just keep going and going as much as you want. It's like a video game. Although I don't play video games. I think they're more interesting than this, but I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very good. You didn't have to. Here is NPR podcast directory. Uh, NPR, or you can go to CBC if you're from Canada, but both of them are really good. I like NPR because there's so much stuff on there. There's about, I think there's 625 podcasts on here. 625. That's a lot of podcasts. They're updated every week. So if your students want to listen to podcasts, this is the website to take them to. I specifically recommend certain ones. My favorite one is called Fresh Air. And my second favorite one is called Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me, which we're going to go to next. Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me is a weekly news quiz on NPR, and they have the quizzes online too. So if you want, you can assign your students to listen to the podcasts, then quiz them with the online version of the quiz. They've already listened to it, they should know the answer. It tests how well they were able to listen. So let's take the quiz. Okay, I'm going to ask you the question, and I'm going to just point to someone, and you're going to give me your... Best guess. Interesting news from the genetics front. Scientists say they've successfully isolated the gene that causes what? How about you? Yes. So is it intuition, infidelity, insomnia, or ingrown toenails? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with ingrown toenails. Ingrown toenails. Infidelity. Do you know the answer? Because yeah. you're right. <laughs> it is infidelity, OK? Huh. So I'm not going to go into why, but it's on the side again. I'm trying to keep the answers from you so you actually visit the website. And also because I don't have time. So infidelity. So it's not our fault after all. <laughs> Just kidding. This is my last website. We'll be done very soon. This American Life. It's connected to NPR, but also PRI, Public Radio International, and Chicago Public Radio. This is my favorite podcast of all time. Every Monday morning, I can't wait to download it and listen to it on my 3,000 yen MP3 player from Stata. That can't go viral forwards or backwards. But anyways, great website. I've chosen a specific podcast. I'm going to show you just the first couple of seconds of it. It's called Lost in Translation. So, here. This week in This American Life, Common always had two favorite things, speaking Chinese and playing basketball. Then he saw an ad for a job with the NBA. 
Two months later, he was the full-time live-in interpreter for a Houston Rockets player who was becoming one of the biggest household names in basketball.